Alrighty. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Papa Bear's Kitchen. It's been a minute since I made another video. Uh, today, what I'm making is chicken and rice. And uh, let me fish out some chicken chicken bits here. These are the thighs, chicken thighs. And there should be four of them in here someplace. But what I did was I put the chicken in the pot and uh, threw in some uh, rice and let it all cook. And what I want to do next is season the rice. There should be four pieces. There's the other one. But I hope everybody's been doing well, taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other. Wanted to give out some shout outs to some of my friends that uh, that I like quite a lot. YouTube friends. Let me check this rice is done. Mmm. -hmm. Yep. Okay. So I've got my uh, chicken thighs here. Not my chicken thighs, but for the family. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little seasoned salt. Just a sprinkle. Looks like turmeric, but it's really not. Okay, seasoned salt. I'm gonna put some uh, oregano leaves, just to make it look pretty. And this could be eaten either as a soup, if you shred up the chicken, or just the way we're gonna have it, put the chicken in a pot or in a bowl and eat it like that. I'm gonna add some celery salt. Just a little, because it's pretty salty. And we'll give that a stir. Now, there's a lot of uh, people that add their seasonings as the food is cooking. And for this dish, I want the chicken to have its own flavor and not be uh, influenced a lot by the, by the rice seasonings. Ooh, that smells good. This is gonna be a nice dinner lunch. That was uh, one of the things I was reading uh, in my little free time I have, <laughs> is that uh, since the 1960s or early, late, late 50s, 50s and 60s, uh, people uh, used to eat a lot and really not have any problem with weight gain or um, any kind of weight or health problems. And I remember growing up, we used to eat a lot. I used to eat a lot. And there was very few overweight people that I remember. Everybody was pretty thin, pretty lean, not skinny, but you know, unhealthy, but, um, uh, you know, kind of trim, slim. Okay, I'm going to put some garlic, because I love garlic. But it wasn't until like the 70s and 80s when the fast foods really started uh, picking up that people started putting on weight. I'm going to put some onion powder, just a little. Ooh, that smells good. And um, I think it's uh, a combination of like fast foods, processed foods, and the ability to get, you know, food any time of the day or night and eat whenever people feel like it instead of waiting for dinner or lunch or breakfast, you know, they could go out and get a sandwich, stop anywhere and eat at any time of the day or night. And I think that might be a contributor to people's health problems. Mmm, good. But that's just me, my one of my little theories. I need to get some pepper. So this is just black pepper. Put 
kind of a lot. I like pepper. But um, for our family, because of the scheduling and work and school and stuff like that, my kids really had, uh, sometimes they'd have time in the morning for breakfast. And um, it was usually a cooked cooked meal, not not fast food like cereal or something like that. Ooh, that pepper's going to make me sneeze. And, um, uh, as they were growing up, I worked, I worked my work schedule so that they could have a meal, a hot meal when they get home from school. And, uh, that's, uh, you know, they've told me that's one of their fond memories of growing up was, you know, smelling the food when they're coming, getting near the house. Mmm, yum. So, uh, my kids grew up on home-cooked food and really not a lot of fast foods. We'd get a pizza once in a while. We'd get um, hamburgers and stuff once in a while. But it was mostly cooked foods, home-cooked foods that they grew up on. And uh, I I made that a point, you know, for them to eat healthy, eat nice feeling nutritious meals and that was just me you know that's just my thing but um let's see i've got my notes here some of the people i want to give a shout out to and um if you do pray offer some prayers for irena host to a ghost she's been going through a hard time and uh she's one of the people i care about v bear v I hope you're doing well. I hope you see this video and know that I'm thinking about you. There's people that are behind you and uh, missing your videos. Mona, um, uh, about face with Mona. She hurt her back and I, being a truck driver, I've done that. It's miserable. Every breath you take, every move you make, it's, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a chore. So, healing for uh, Mona. Jen, at home with Jen. I haven't talked to her. I haven't seen her or, or videos for a while. Just been busy. Uh, my internet has been kind of cruddy for the past couple of weeks, and it's finally getting back to uh, to normal. Uh, Stephanie from Get Spooky Society. Uh, she's got some cool stuff. And as, as usual, my friend Zineb. Zineb Ben Brahim, howdy howdy, and um, you know, there's just people I was thinking about, and um, you know, if, like I said, if you do pray, pray for the people, check out their videos, their channels. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of rice there, and a nice piece of chicken. And there's lunch right there. Nice, pretty good sized piece of chicken and some rice. And that can be seasoned any other way that you, uh, you, you like your rice or your chicken. And like I was saying, if you want to uh, make chicken soup, all you have to do is let this, the chicken cool down a little bit, shred up the meat, put it in there, add some more water, and there's chicken soup right there, chicken and rice soup. But the seasonings are simple, seasoned salt, oregano, black pepper, onion and garlic, and a little bit of celery salt. And that's it. And you have an awesome, awesome soup base or an awesome meal like this. And um, just want to remind everybody to take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. And um, everybody be safe, be well, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye.